too hard. Brown skin girl, your skin just like pearls. The best thing in any world. I never trade you for anybody else. Say. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, it's back to art. Pretty sure you know that from the title, from the channel, and all of that. But oh my god, I'm so extra. But yeah, <laughs> that was me in the um in the little intro there, um, singing Brown Skin Girl. I decided to do a little cover because you know I'm extra. I love being extra, and yeah. So, anyways. On to the topic of this video, which is how I went viral with my artwork twice. Yeah, twice in the span of like two months. So I'm just going to give y'all little secrets, little stuff that I've been doing. Before I start, I want to give a disclaimer. What I think works or what has worked for me may not work for you. Everybody has their own way of doing stuff um this has worked for me yeah so moving on um <laughs> so basically um well okay so the first time i went viral um this is mostly on twitter on twitter but like the second time i went viral with this piece um it i went viral on instagram and twitter but yeah anyways um Secret number one, do fan art, fan art, fan art. If you really want to go viral and like get your numbers up, not because you love the likes and stuff like that, but like just to get an audience, you know, some just like a support system. Like, I don't want to say fan base because I don't like the word fan. But like just the support system, some just people that support you and like want to help you get up there because there's more levels. I'm not even at the level where I feel like I should be at yet, but I'm getting there. It's getting there. But yeah, fan art is a big one. Um, and it depends. It's, it really depends because it depends on who what type of audience you want to be following you because if you draw a pop star then you're going to get those type of fans and they're going to want that specific person over and over and over again i went through this um on my instagram drawing ariana most of the time and when i decided to draw let's say um selena i didn't really get that many eyes on my work i didn't get that much attention because it wasn't ariana so you really have to be careful with that also um i would say mix um original work with fan art so that you know they get the both of you get like both you know what i mean yeah anyways um <laughs> the second step i would say is timing you have to pick the right time so with this piece i tried to get it done within like the first the first the first day that um <laughs> the first day that black is king came out or even the second day or the third i tried to get it in that time frame so that it can have it can like still you know feed off of the the hype of the the um visual album so yeah just picking the right time and with my f the first time i went viral it was with um it was because of a hashtag on twitter and that hashtag was drawing wild black so it really you have to feed off of what's popping what's trendy um i mean it's kind of common sense but like uh it's really the timing it's really the timing you have to be on time okay so the next step kind of ties in with the second step timing using hashtags but on time 
<laughs> like use hashtags as soon as you see them. Like, let's say I just saw one um not too long ago, Spider-Man Day. And I was thinking of doing one, but I was like, mm -mm, I don't want to I don't want to do too much. But yeah, like as soon as you see a hashtag, a trend going on, hop on it. If if you really want to build your business, build your just supporters and stuff like that, you got to you got to hop on that shit. You got to hop on. Um, yeah. <laughs> but there's one thing I won't condone. White artists or just anyone that's not black using black struggle like black lives matter or anything like that to get attention and to gain off of it that's really childish and you look dumb like it's really obvious with some of these people but yeah i'm not gonna get too much into that but yeah now the last step the last step is very 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 important it's very important <laughs> You have to be good at what you do. You have to be good. And you have to have that confidence as well. So, yeah. So, you have to be good at what you do. Whatever you're doing. Um, This doesn't only apply to art. Whether it's uh, dancing, um, comedy, anything like that. You have to be good at it. And choose your best work. That's another step. Choose your best work. Because you can't, yeah, you can't choose like just lackluster. It's not going to get as much attention. You have to choose your best work. And also consistency. I know cliche. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, it's really important. And not, not, I don't want to say, okay, you have to draw five pieces a day. I'm saying be consistent, but also put the quality in. Don't just stop after you make a quality piece and it blows up or whatever. You have to keep going. You have to keep going. And take as long as you want, as long as you need to finish a piece. Because you you didn't see what's um them Renaissance artists. I can't even name them. <laughs> All like Michelangelo and all of them. Um, you ain't see them finish pieces in like two, three days. Maybe, maybe. Wait. Okay, anyways, that's not the point. Take your time. Take your time. But also put in the work. Do a lot. Make a lot of pieces. Don't ever like get comfortable with the position you're in don't ever that's that's when you start to fall off and that's <laughs> i'm talking to myself because um so yeah i was on instagram for a while a while while while, while. i even had like a whole other account that i deleted because the engagement wasn't there i was just like i'm starting over i'm starting over i'm happy i did but I'm mad I deleted it because I don't know if I mentioned this in an old video, a recent video or whatever. But um, I had work on there that I would have loved to see now, like see my growth. That's another thing. Keep, do not delete your old stuff. Keep that, keep all of it online because one, your supporters love to see supporters love to see growth that's the biggest thing i feel like they love seeing your growth and they love being a part of something so yeah that's that's really important but yeah back to that old account i deleted it and i started over and yeah i started over everything was great and dandy and then i started to take breaks and yeah it was a no-no like it was everything started to go downhill and that's why i'm saying you have to be consistent but also give quality yeah okay um this is the last okay i promise this is the last 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 step take care of yourself please please 
do not get discouraged if you don't go viral the first, second, 500th time you've tried. It's okay. It's okay. That's not, it's not all about going viral. It's not. Just as long as you have people that will support you, that love you, and just just care for you. That's what's really important here. That's what's really important. I just want to make sure that y'all know that. But yeah, um, that's all I wanted to talk about. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, comment your thoughts about this video and the topic. Make sure to turn on post notifications so that you're notified when I post a new video. Lastly, thank you so much for your support if you've been supporting me for a while or even just started supporting me today. I hope you have a great night or day. And yeah, take care. See you later.